Hey guys, you're getting kind of an improv video because I'm kind of annoyed to say the very least about what's going on right now in our country. And right now this Black Lives Matter movement, All Lives Matter movement, the cops that are getting killed, the people that are getting killed by cops, how there's so much publicity about all this stuff, it's starting to really get on my nerves. And so here's a little rant and rave on the topic and I think I'm going to come at this from a perspective that probably most of you if not all of you have not heard before so let's buckle up let's actually sit down and think about some of these things okay so first of all there are a higher percentage of black people that come from government housing than any other race out there now I'm not attacking you for this I am telling you right now I wouldn't wish what blacks have to go through on my worst enemy the problem is that you guys keep voting for the same people to put you in the same exact situation over and over and over. So here's the problem. So let's look at Indians real quick before we get into it. Native American Indians. We screwed them over hardcore, but they were still a really proud people. They were still hardworking, proud people. And what we did is we took their pride from them. We took their soul from them by giving them government money every single month. And we have destroyed the Indian people. There are so many of them that are lazy, they're crappy, they live in horrible surroundings because we have taken all their pride from them. And we've said, here, we'll give you some money to fix the mistakes we made. Money is not the issue. Money is the problem in those type of situations. It takes the pride from people. It takes everything that you support and it destroys it. So this is for the black community. For you all that say Black Lives Matter and you keep voting for Democrats that keep expanding welfare or will hopefully expand welfare for your sake, they're not helping you. They are using you. You are getting used and abused for your votes. They say, hey, we're gonna give you some more government housing and we're gonna destroy your family. We're gonna destroy everything that you can stand up for. We're gonna destroy your pride and you'll keep voting for us because we'll give you more free government housing. We'll give you some more welfare. We'll keep bragging about how we want a higher minimum wage. Okay, we're gonna think, we're gonna actually talk about right now what those results are, okay? Our country, with all the discrimination, with all the racism, with all the slavery, we couldn't destroy the black family. The black family was awesome. You guys had excellent marriages. You guys had awesome, long-lasting marriages. You guys were a great example. After slavery, after prohibition, the slavery, uh, or I'm sorry, not the slavery, the black marriage was a thing to be proud of. Since we started promoting these welfare programs, the government housing and everything else, we have destroyed the black community and the black family. We couldn't do that with slavery but we do that with free money that we hand out to you guys. And we brag about how we're helping the black people. We're not helping the black people, we are destroying the black people. And I am sure so many of you guys can witness and testify to this. I've worked in government housing before. There are such a high percentage of blacks that come from government housing. It's horrible. So we have blacks that come from government housing. You then are surrounded by welfare people that are on social security, people that are on disability, people that are alcoholics, people that are druggies. This is what you grow up in. You're born into a twisted, messed up system. You then have to go to government schools, which are bad in general, but even worse in the areas where there's so much government housing. And you're supposed to grow up and become a normal person. You're supposed to be able to grow up and have your own business. I wouldn't wish this upbringing on my worst enemy. And here we are doing this to the black community and you guys keep voting for it over and over and over. And plenty of white people are doing the same thing. We keep saying, hey, let's keep voting for more welfare. Let's keep voting for higher minimum wage. Well, let's talk about that minimum wage. The minimum wage screws you even worse. Let's say we have some young black man. He's an entrepreneur. He wants to go out there and work hard. He's got potential. He's sick and tired of the public school system. He drops out. He wants to actually work. He drops out of the school system. He tries to get a job and an employer says, I am sorry, dude. Our federal government mandates or our state government mandates that I discriminate against you and I cannot hire you because you are not worth whatever the minimum wage is set at. So what does this kid end up doing? He ends up dealing drugs. He ends up as a prostitute. He ends up addicted to drugs. He ends up in a gang. He ends up killing people. He ends up getting killed. He ends up risking his life. He ends up in the same exact situation as his parents on the government system, on welfare, stuck in the same exact rut. 
And what do we say? Oh, hey, we'll help you out. We're going to create more government programs. We're going to create more government spending. We're going to give you a higher minimum wage and make it even harder to hire you guys. This is not, this is the case for every single skin color, but blacks are affected by this the most. People, this is, we are voting in the name of helping the poor, we are screwing them. In the name of helping racism, we are hurting it. It hurts me to do these videos. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. I hate this. But the reality is that we are going down the wrong road and it is, you're, you're looking at the results. People don't have solutions. Why are things getting worse? Well, think about it. Our government is only getting bigger. The control is only getting bigger. The minimum wage is getting higher. And guess who this screws? Minorities. And all of a sudden, we start noticing race relations get worse. Well, nobody has solutions for this. Nobody understands why this is going on. I'm giving you solutions. I'm not telling you who to vote for because they're both scumbags. But I'm telling you what the end result is, what we need to look for, what we need to do to solve the problem that we're dealing with right now. Think about it. Let's all start uniting to help everyone. Let's work together to help everyone, all races, all skin colors, all heights, all religions. Anything else is discriminating in one way, shape, or form. And that includes the so-called minimum wage. That's all, guys.